waking up early tomorrow. We got a big adventure in store. We're headed to the top of the volcano, the highest point in the country, in a four-wheel drive truck. Starting at 4 a.m. We gotta hit some groceries on the way and get some sleep. Yeah. Big day tomorrow. Well, we're all ready for tomorrow. Getting up at 3.30 a.m. to take this Jeep up to the top of the volcano. Here we got some camera gear, some warm gear, and they're gonna provide a lunch and hot chocolate and stuff. Coffee. Good night. See you in the morning. Night. Ooh. Good morning. We're heading up the tallest mountain. Wow, it's pretty early. We're off to a real early start, but he says it looks clear out. So we're gonna head up the tallest mountain of Panama. <laughs> <laughs> Volcan Maru. Oh, we got a bit of a Jeep situation. Oh, Toyota. <laughs> So here's the entrance to the national park. We're getting checked in, temperatured up. Time to head up the mountain. <laughs> so this is a Toyota Land Cruiser Prada. And they replaced a lot of suspension parts. <laughs> oh go. my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, no. <laughs> Stop, taking a quick little break here, but you can see the towers up there and it's been a hell of a ride. This has been insane. This guy really knows how to drive. Feeling good hands. It's awesome. What are the sunrise colors over here? Hey, oh my god. We're getting some pink action over there. We did it! You live up here, man? Are you insane? <laughs> we even got wildlife on this tour here. Beautiful sunrise up here at the towers. Costa Rica over there, the Pacific coast. The car that could. Wow! What do you think, Emily? Oh, so beautiful. And cold. <laughs> so this is a little optional side hike up here, 10 minutes up to the tallest point. We're gonna go take a peek, feel that sense of accomplishment of getting to the tallest, highest point in an entire country, which this is probably one of the best countries to do that easily. <laughs> because the highest point in Panama is still just 11,200-ish feet. You can feel the lightness of the air here. I thought we were there, but I think we're about halfway. This is epic. I have wanted to get up here the whole time since before we even left Costa Rica. I was dreaming for weeks about getting up here somehow. Oh, so glad we're up here. It's just getting a bit steep here. You gotta choose your path. Huge rocks the whole way. And there is surprisingly some life growing. 
so you can see from this point there are a bunch of craters up here in the last eruption this one got blown out he said but this used to be a lake oh man this is it don't climb the cross the sign says <laughs> but look at this oh my god Oh, clouds are just whipping about. This is the most beautiful sunrise I can remember. Loving it. That's just amazing. Beautiful beyond belief. Oh, there's definitely the Pacific. Yes. Good and there's the Caribbean from one point. <laughs> Seeing both oceans from one point up here. Through the clouds there. Wow. Definitely water, islands. Yeah, Rolando was telling us how the coast comes closer here and the country, the skinniest point would be over here where they built the Panama Canal. We got little birdies up here. What's your name? <laughs> There's Volcan. And that's the trail you hike up from that side. Beautiful. There's a clear view of the Caribbean over there with Bocas del Toro and the other islands. You can see the lights of the town where you take the water taxi over. I could just imagine how amazing it would feel to reach here by foot. 6,000 feet elevation gain on the trail, as well as nine miles round trip. That's from the Volcan side. Obviously the side we went up is a four wheel drive road. We weren't super interested in walking up a road. Other side, they required a guide anyway, $90 guides. We're like, whoa, we're gonna have to pay money. and have to have a guide. Let's just take the Land Cruiser. This has got to be one of the best things you can do in Panama. And the company we went with is called Beyond Adventure. I hit up a few companies. This one gave us a good price. He said, normally it's 120, I'll do it for 90 for you. One of the most epic mornings on record. <laughs> Whoa! Wow, <laughs> Man, thank you guys for yeah, coming fun. up here and everything, right? you yeah. know? Yes. <laughs> This is, this is so good. We figured it out. We figured it out. <laughs> wow, what an amazing place we have. I love it here. We made it to the top of Baru with our buddies. Such a fun day, such a fun night, such a fun morning. What is it? I don't know. Yeah. It's, it's tired up here. Oh my. Whoa, look at the clouds coming down. It's amazing, just like ghosts coming from a mountain. It looks like a smoke, like just a wispy cloud. Yeah. Ah. And that bay over there is where Bocas del Toro is. 
That's where we're heading. Bocas del Toro. Always nice to spot the next adventure from a mountain. We did it, buddy! Seven countries! <laughs> Woohoo! Unless you want to do something cooler than that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, think fast. <laughs> yeah, what are you making over here? Oh, it's a ham and cheese sandwich. Nice. Just my normal breakfast in my normal spot. Well, I think our time is drawing to a close up here at the top of the highest point in Panama. But it's just been epic and Halfway there. This is gonna be a wild drive down. I make sure not to eat too much. <laughs> but that hot chocolate and Sammy really hit the spot. And it's just incredible. There's not anything around as, as high as this. Woohoo, such an awesome time up here. <laughs> it's time to go down. We had some hot chocolate and some Sammy's. Hopefully they don't react badly. <laughs> So we broke down, we're not gonna make it down. Just kidding, just need some power steering fluid from the other guy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> These guys are crazy. Oh my gosh, you see that tire? Whoa, we just slid around in there. You Buddy, buddy. Wow! Oh, oh on the gosh. riding on the bottom. Oh my Scraping. gosh! Bottom oh. up. Oh. Whoa! One last time. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Three oh, wheels. You want to look at that? Three wheels. <laughs> 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 made it back to the van my little guy has been given some breakfast and so has my little lady over here such an amazing day and it's only nine o'clock so this door handle has been working for about a month <laughs> so getting in here removed this pocket here already that some screws 
see if I can get this reconnected in there. But Kurt's here for moral support. Hey, if you guys are worried about Danny fixing this do door, don't worry, I'm here to coach him out. <laughs> and Sabrita's watching as well. <laughs> Dang, thanks a ton to Kurt because we were able to get in here and reattach the door handle. So now a bit of reassembly, but I'm sure they would have charged me like a hundred bucks. So <laughs> not bad. Okay, moment of truth with the left hand. Hey, hey, hey. so we just got to put some stuff together. Heck yeah. We've been walking around the van a million times. Wow. You want to try it again, Emily? Sure thing. <laughs> Look at... Oh, thank you, Vanna White. Man, thanks for the help. Oh, no problem. <laughs> Okay, good morning. So one last thing we're gonna check out in Boquete is the geisha coffee. So we haven't heard about it before we got to Boquete, but this is like a fancy, fancy cup of coffee. And um, we're really excited to check it out. So yeah, we'll see what the cafe we picked out has to offer. Yeah, this was a pretty sweet little camp spot here. $12 a night at Malu in Boquete. Not bad at all because they had good Wi-Fi, shower, potable water we just filled up again. And yeah, Kurt and Snow are, are right ahead of us and we'll go check out this coffee. Yay, this is going to be a good morning. So he's gonna fresh grind up some of the geisha coffee and I can even I can already smell it. It smells delicious. And we'll have a pour over so you can taste more of the floral notes and whatnot. Hopefully, we'll see how it is. Wow. Very nice. <laughs> Got our own little pot of coffee to share. Wow, I'm excited. I love coffee. I lived in Seattle for four years and big coffee snobs up there in a good way. Even in SoCan, they're pretty into coffee. We don't drink Starbucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you want to, I ain't gonna blame you. There's a lot of little coffee shops there. I can just smell the coffee and already be happy. Mm hmm. I feel awake. Well, this one smells super good. Wow. Super. It's, it's got a lot going on in there, you know? I'm almost more a fan of like an espresso these days because the pour over tastes more like tea, you know? And this is like, it's got a lot of flavors in there. I can see why, to an expert, this would be something special, but. Probably not my favorite. You know? Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, Emily? Wow, yeah. It's, uh, I think it's really good. It smells like chocolatey. Yeah, it tastes a little chocolatey. Yeah, it smells very floral. It's nice. I like it. Yeah. Tasty. It's pretty fancy. Mm-hmm. I like it. I'm <laughs> more for you if you do. Yes, yes, it works for me. <laughs> And apparently nomadic movement is making this coffee now. I don't blame them because this is a good area to grow it. And it was judged the number one coffee at auction. Some of this per kilogram went for like over a thousand dollars. So it's pretty good. Well, thanks for checking out Boquete with us. We had a great time on this area, but it's time to move on. And for Curtin Snow, thank you so much for helping us get monetized. Yes. Thank you so much. <laughs> we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye. -bye.